There we go. That was celebratory bunting. <clears throat> That's quite loud. Poor draw being treated like a dog by his pack members. Actually, they t they give you photos. This place is a bit more than a, a normal kennel. It's quite a nice kennel. But they uh, they send you pictures of him running around with his friends. He has a good time. That boost logo's all over the mirror, though. They'll probably get his autograph. If only they knew which dog they were messing with. Okay. I think this little V10 is ready. Ready to see what kind of job we can give it. Yep, we did Exavid. Sent him to a nice doggy hotel. Peter built. Go on, come back and stay for good this time. I love it. That's a song from a uh, Paul. Um... Oh, what's his name? Paul Newman? No. Paul. What's the singer's name? Oh my god, I can't think of his name. Paul. Somebody please say his name now. Paul Young, that was it. Paul Young, thank you. Paul Young. 80s singer. That yeah, was a good song, that. Salah, thank you for the resume. Let's see what jobs we got out of here. How old is Doyle? Seven. Oh, nothing heavy. Come on. Game plus. Okay, what about from here, then? Nope. I thought Russia would have the big stuff. I are disappointed. You kidding me? Happy well, the heaviest thing we can get is 27 tons. Down the road. I is somewhat disappointed. As a group of YouTubers, I'm going to see a games come invited to the PUBG tournament. Going for a part of $350,000 cash, so we're wishing them all luck. Man, the pressure though. I mean, it's, it's one thing playing that game, you know, because you enjoy it for a laugh or playing it for streaming or whatever. But when there's somebody's putting money on the line, like, everything just changes. Woohoo, two months down, countless more to go. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Salah. Oh, yeah, a separate yeah. mod for Heavy Hole DLC and Rust Map. Ah. Ah. Where do we get that from? But even so, the money going up to 27 tons. There you go, it's a 48 though. So the Jazzy Cat stuff's in here as well. Oh, God, that's quite good. 36 tons from Russia through Estonia. Or maybe 48 tons down to Belarus. That could be fun. Let's go and do that. What the heck is this? Valikiyaluki. I don't have a motorbike, Jacob. No, I used to. 737500, Jeff. Thanks for the resume. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to Valik. Hmm. Is it Velik? No. This is a completely different place. 48 tons sounds perfect. Mr. MB, loving the YouTube content lately. Also, double and triple trailers are so much fun. Thank you, Mr. MB. Um. Yeah, wait till you see my next videos, Mr. MB. How do we get to this? 
V. Luki. Velikai Luki. Could try Luki, yeah. There we go. That worked. Who's that? Who's that? Uh, Takara... <laughs> what a name. Takara Kataka... Kataka. K Takara Tak Kataka. Oh my god, dude, your name. Takara... Ta -ta Takara... What the heck? Takara... Ataka. Can somebody please tell me how to say that name? Can I just call you Takatakadak or something? Because your name is Rip. <laughs> Thank you for summoning, dude. Can we give him a naughty welcome? Thank you for your support. Welcome to the net house. I missed a bit. Okay, everyone, Paul. Uh, the Squirrel Logistics Euro 6 Red Edition is now available on my Steam Workshop. Let me have a look. Dude, you're so. you like. Unbelievable. You just smash things out. I like that, Paulie. I hope oh, you posted yeah. that in chat, mate. Post a link to your workshop thing. Post a link, Paulie, to that in the workshop in, in the chat. Taka Rakataka. Nah. Taka Rakataka. I'm going to call him Tic Tac. <laughs> I'd love to know the origin of that name. Are we there yet, Jules? Yes, we are. I just teleported here. Hang on one second, let me just play with the um, info screen. Let's come back. Wow, 1500 litres. Nice. It's a bit of a rubbish screen though, to be honest. Okay, the volume's going to have to come down. Because that is a oh, loud, yeah. loud engine. It's more like Taka Rakataka. I think I see it now. Taka Rakataka. So, come on, what is the origin of that name? Heapster! Paul, as soon as you're away next week, can have your birthday toot. As my birthday's on Tuesday, there you go. Also, that beacon, is that the mod that wasn't updated for a long time, or is it the man mod? Uh, have a good time at Games Commandy. Heapster, it is the one that got updated. Yes, the one I had didn't work with 128, but this one does. Quite correct. Yeah, we're holding a tank from Russia. What's wrong with that? They have a few of them lying around. We're taking it down to Belarus, though, which is quite worrying. This thing is heavy. Nikolaith, 20 months. Yay! Thank you, Nikolaith. Teal Shock, thank you for the resume. Belarus, the home of Jazzy Cat. Is that where he lives? This thing is heavy, not gonna lie. Sean Willis, thank you for the bits, sir.
Like there's all, in Russia, there's always people standing around. A lot of clapping each other, like, All right, all right, mate. How you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. Good job. <laughs> nice bit of parking. <laughs> Well done on being you. Balloons in Russia? What are they for target practice? <laughs> Do you know what mode of the official heavy haul DLC compatible with Russian maps or need a permission to post it, Jersey? Do you. Oh, I'm not really going to use it now, I don't think, because we're about to leave Russia. Jersey, but thank you. Imagine this load is a double. What, a double tank? That would be pretty crazy. I don't think it would move. Mr. Dons, thank you for 10 months. I love the expression on that minion's face, look. Look at him, he looks properly crazy. Wow, that's a fast police car. Ripadoodle do. I'm a, I'm a little bit stressed if I'm honest with you. It's been non stop all day trying to get all my stuff ready. And I'm still sitting here thinking what do I need to do after the stream? What do I need to not forget? What if I get to Cologne and I've forgotten something for insomnia? See, the problem is because I'm, I'm not coming back, I'll be going to Cologne. And then coming back and then fly and going straight to Birmingham. So I need to remember to pack things for Birmingham now, as well as Gamescom. So it's like double whammy. I am the Truman Show. Thank you for subbing. Can we give I am the Truman Show a nutty welcome, guys? Thank you for your support. Welcome to the community. I am Truman. Uh, extreme gaming. Yes, there is. Just go into your options and change it from Imperial to Metric. And vice versa. Well, I have done Hinzies, but if you forget to put the things on the list, like having a list is a good thing, but you can still forget to put things on the list. These Russian roads. Look at these guys here with no physics guys. They're not even bothered. Bumpy road. It's like a billiard table. Don't see any suspension movements on their vehicles, do you? Back. No, James, I'm not streaming from Gamescom. Crazy PN, thanks for resume. I mean, I could do in theory, but I just I, I don't know. I don't want to. <laughs> I just want to go around and enjoy it and meet people. Halle the, um, Hal v, the tanks are going to come from uh, aye, aye, aye. Jazzy Cat's military pack. So if you go to the mod spreadsheet and then go down to Jazzy Cat mods, you'll see them all listed there. You want the military one for the tanks. Jules, most important thing to pack is your passport. Oh, that's easy, Jules. You know, you all, I always remember the important stuff. Like passports, travel insurance... Uh, European health cards, um, car park tickets, car hire, anything like that, I always put in a, in a wallet, so that's easy mode. That's not the problem. It's the other bits and pieces. 
you know, did you bring your travel adapters? Did you bring your charger for your phone? Did you bring the battery pack? Did you bring, you know, all the other little bits and pieces? Uh, Siticus, all right, good night. The micro USB you always forget. Or things like, you know, toothpaste or if you want to take some shower gel because the hotel shower gel is always rubbish. It's that kind of thing. Have a checklist on your mobile. I normally put them into Evernote and then access my Evernote from the mobile. Alright, Capitev. Yeah, paracetamol, that kind of thing. Paracetamol, um, Rene tablets in case you get upset, Tommy. Um, Imodium, that kind of thing. You always take soap. Alcoholic, thank you for 35 months. Uh, Dekent, thanks for four. Don't forget Mrs. Squirrel. Oh yes, I need to add her to the checklist. <laughs> oh, well Ripperdoodle, it's only like an hour flight, so... You know, you can put up with whiny kids on a one hour flight, but when I was going to um, Tenerife, we had uh, a whiny kid for four hours. But I just basically put on my Bose headphones, slid the noise cancel button, and it was like, ah, yeah. <laughs> Worth every penny. <laughs> Honestly, for a flight longer than two hours, noise cancelling headphones are the greatest invention in the universe. Cypher HD, thank you for subbing. Can we give Cypher a nutty welcome, guys? Thanks for your support, Cypher. Much appreciated. Oh, Stefan, the, the noise cancelling headphones, right, they're about three, 250 or 300 pounds or something, which is a lot of money for a pair of headphones, a lot of money. But when you put them on, they're so comfortable, <clears throat> and when you slide that switch on a plane, I can't begin to tell you what it's like, you won't believe it. You just won't believe it. I don't know what you mean, Chris. Uh, weather prognosis for next weekend, Baz. Mmm, I've not looked. What? 32 in a 30 zone? <laughs> Come on. Give me a break. Jules, I know people are getting their passports ready, but leaving it on the sideboard, then just remember it at the airport. Well, rip them. Now, the trick to it, Jules, is to have almost like a, a mini routine. So I always have a, ba a backpack. That backpack always has the blue folder in it. The blue folder, which is like a plastic blue folder, always has passports, flight tickets, that kind of thing. So all I've got to do is remember that backpack and I'll be fine. Because I know what's in that blue folder. Looks like the Russians have got dash cams everywhere. I know, right? 32 and a 30 zone. Come on. Yeah, I've got the Gamescom tickets in the blue folder, Connor. It's even, 
it's even in order. So right at the start is the car park tickets, because I need them first. Straight after that comes the flight tickets, because I need them second. Right after that comes the car hire, because I need that in Cologne. <laughs> right after that comes Gamescom, because that comes after that. So it's all, it's all organised. What truck are we in? We are in an MAN TGA. What car to hire? Just something big enough for all of us. They never tell you what model it is anyway. They always say this or similar. So I think it's like a Skodia Octavia Estate or similar. Scumpag light. Anyway, show you the truck. There you go. Bloater, thanks for the resume. And Swing Kid as well. Well, last two trips to Tenerife, that similar, has ended up with a Renault. If it's a Renault again, Yacht Squirrel, I actually think there's a conspiracy. Oh, the beacon bug. Oh, the beacon bug's back. I'll have to try and chop that off now. Floating beacon light hype. It's really annoying trying to get rid of that. There you go. <clears throat> Ottawa, with nine months. Thank you, Ottawa. Born today, £208, mother in shock, looking forward to many more birthdays in the future. <laughs> Twitch baby hype, Ottawa, thank you. Yes, your mother would be in shock with £208 baby. I had a RAV4 or similar and they wanted to give me a Honda HRV. Luckily it broke. What do you mean it broke? Well, Eric, I had a look at Jazzy Cat's page today and most of his stuff is 128. Working with 128. Um, <clears throat> only his truck and trailer pack is not released yet, but a lot of other stuff is. And the truck and trailer pack, although it doesn't list 128, it does actually work with it, so... No run out high cars in Germany, you probably get Skoda, VW, Audi, Seat or Ford. Interesting, as That's interesting. Look, told you. Standing around people again. Then another mod is making a crash for you. It must be Eric. If you've downloaded the latest ones, then it, it's something else. Good evening, Ico. A 
as long as it's not troubling you'll be fine imagine when you can actually hire a Tesla that would be cool Coyote, thanks for the resume. You'd love to hire a Tesla. So would I. I'd love to reach out and drive into a crash barrier. Oh, wait, I did. No damage, though. No. Doesn't count. It never happened. And the Russia tank is not damaged by barrier. Denmark, there are Tesla taxis. I know when I went to Spain, there were plenty of hybrid taxis. You can hire Teslas in Norway. Nice. You say that, Alexandru, but I've got my foot flat on the floor, mate. It takes quite a while to accelerate this tank. It's a pity I don't have a throttle meter like iRacing. When you went to Amsterdam you saw a lot of Tesla taxis. Really? That does surprise me. You can hire a hybrid in Cuba, a 57 Chevy pulled by a horse. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Ken Ballard.com, thanks for the resume six months, enjoy the silver acorn. Five series soaring. I've owned a 5 Series Touring. I know what it's like. But alright. <laughs> it's more difficult to run off with a Tesla. You won't get very far. <laughs> yeah, nobody will be using Teslas as getaway cars anytime soon. Great acceleration, but not good range. <laughs> aye, 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 aye. Oh boy, the tank shoved me into the back of this car. in some parts of Germany there is a Mercedes there are Mercedes taxis what do you mean in some parts of Germany have you ever been to G to Germany Jules <laughs> there's like hundreds of Mercedes taxis loads of them uh, do you have the pro mods Ross map connections 128 if so where can you download cipher yes and you just when you download Rust Map, it comes inside the file with instructions of what to do. So just get the files, open the README, and just put them in the order it tells you to, and you'll be fine. Well, thank you for 19 months and hi.
Once you've been to Amsterdam for the day, you're half planning to go to Copenhagen in Denmark. Potentially around Christmas time. What's the best time of year to go to Denmark? Never? Why never? Summer. Why are people hating on Denmark? What the heck? Yes, I've been on a cruise, Cypher. A med cruise. Winter because you get warm winters and cold summers. Interesting. Uh, KHD, thank you for 38 months, sir. Denmark is awesome. What's with about Denmark? What do you mean, Trans Infant? Well, I'd like to go to Copenhagen one day. I love these signs that you get. So cool. Electric motorbike. Yeah, the problem is the batteries. And the weight of the batteries. Denmark, famous for three things. Lego, bacon, and Peter Schmeichel. <laughs> yeah, Verdals, I've been to that before. I've been to that a couple of times, that train, um, that model train thing. I don't know, Baz, there was always Meccano, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris Knight 4, if you want to visit Legoland, be prepared, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people there in the mornings. Make sure you go there midday. They open until 8pm. Do, uh, do people take the kids early in the morning, then? Is that how it rolls? So just go in the afternoon when they're all having a, having a little nap or something. Botza! Botza1, thank you for subbing. Can we give Botza a nutty welcome, guys? Thank you for your support. Welcome to the house. Reset that truck out a bit. There we go. Thank you, Botza. Don't pull out on me. Whew. Had a premonition then. Hailing Fire Gaming, nine months. Twitch baby. Hello, Squirrel. Just wanted to say thanks for your content. I'm a real life trucker now. Hey, congrats, buddy. Are you enjoying it? Do I have the Twitch desktop app, Connor? No. I don't think I need it, to be honest. Until they add something in it that's got, you know, that's a must-have. I don't see the point. Arguably, if Discord had never been created, then it would be more useful. Do you use track AR? You have it, is it never seems to work? No. Never used it.
The desktop app is good for Twitch. Well, you'd think so. It's a Twitch desktop app. <laughs> That's the whole point of it. But it's just basically Kurt's reskinned, isn't it? You can't chat in Discord in Bunny Streams, but you can chat in the Twitch desktop app. Yeah, but you can chat in the um, in the browser, can't you? You can sit there and chat right now. Why do you need it? Uh, can you look at something called Track Hat? It works the same as Track Hat, but a lot cheaper. Well, I know about Track Hat. I've exchanged emails with them before. And um, I even chatted with them about the idea of taking a squirrel cap and embedding it, Track Hat, into it. And the last I heard, they were going to look into it, and then I, I didn't hear from them again, so I'm like, whatever. <laughs> Uh, in Denmark, people are good to get up early and do the stuff they tend to do on vacation. I was in Universal Studios in LA a couple of weeks ago, and there were people when it opened, and all the Americans came a couple of hours later. Ah, you're the early people, are you, in Denmark? I see. It's lemon, because I know you're going to ask me what I'm drinking. It's lemon cordial. Looks like dirty bath water. <laughs> it actually does. Lemon cordial looks like that. Comes the rain. <coughs> Happy you miss Iron Brew. I, I thought it was still on sale. Rubino, thank you for 14 months, Rubino. The Danish are very good and friendly with English, that's what I've heard. I've no idea, Michael Brown. I spoke to a few Danish people and they've been fine. I spoke English. Chris94, if you visit Copenhagen, visit the zoo, the Tivoli, and also the Botanic Garden. We didn't have time for that, but I'll definitely check it out when I go to Denmark next year. Chris, the main thing I'm interested in, mate, is the takeoff and approach. <laughs> As a how very geeky is that? Spezzy. That's what Baz is bringing. Did you not see the picture that Baz has? Baz bought two crates of Spezzy. And he's going to put them all in his suitcase. Rip Baz. Wait, Baz, I've got a question for you. Has Steve even tried Spezzy? Has he even ha ever had it before? Or is he just jumping on the bandwagon? Is he, is he trying to bag my Spezzy, but he's never actually tried it? Because, hang on, Baz, is it actually Coke? Is it Diet Coke or Coke or something, or is it Pepsi mixed in orange? United Scania Trucker, I use Truck IR, dude. It's actually listed on my hardware spec. That's what that, that's what that thing is, though. 
It's not a, a leaked feature. <laughs> There's no conspiracy. Forty-eight cans weigh seventeen kilos, and you get what? Twenty-two allowance, is it? <laughs> They're gonna think he's a spazzy dealer. <laughs> Exavera, almost on two years, sir. Is track hour cheap? Define cheap. If you're talking like £2.99, no. If you're expecting to get track hour at Poundland, it ain't happening. It's near the Coke or Pepsi, it's homemade cola from the Spezzy Company mixed with orange juice, not lemonade, and no stream had one, I think, and Steve never had one. I didn't think he had either. He's just trying to land grab mine on Friday before I get there, isn't he? Hang on, Jules. Are we there yet, Kappa? We're still on the road, Jules. We're not there yet. You like the kid in the back, aren't you? Are we there yet? He's ordered some Bavarian sausages. I'm very concerned about your Nuthouse members wanting the Spezzy. Well, there's nothing I can do about it, Buzz. It's it's all up to you, mate. It's all down to you, because I don't get there until Saturday morning. I'm sure you've already decided, Buzz, how many I'm getting and how many you're going to dish out. <laughs> 